Norris wins the win in the first quarter, and that kick will go way back there. Almost into the stand. The referee today is Chuck McFerrin. No flags on the kickoff, so we get through the first moment okay. Oregon getting Valenzuela in there in sort of a goal line defense with Jermaine Green carrying the ball, trying to sweep left in. Gets around the corner and goes out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. He got a terrific block from John Pippins, who had come in to join him in the backfield. Pippins, a big guy, and John got a solid block to get him around the corner. And first and goal, Washington State at the Oregon 8. Jermaine Green possesses a lot of speed, and that's where they want to attack. The Dutch is on the perimeter. Tippins out in front, takes out Tucker right there with a great block. And then Moretti has to come all the way from middle linebacker to keep Green out of the end zone. And he's got four wide receivers. Here comes Crusher, moves away from it, throws into the end zone. The man is wide open. Javar Darling, touchdown, Cougars. Mike Price able to see his Cougars go on top of Mike Pilates Oregon Ducks here in the first quarter. Keith, I think this ball is deflected there just barely by Wright and their wide open receiver, DeVar Bar Darling, for his ninth touchdown catch. The time for point is good by Drew Dunning. They lead 7 to nothing and throwing. Yes, they're going to get hit. Ball comes out. Oregon's got it. Stephen Moore. Touchdown, Oregon Ducks. Penalty flag back here behind the line of scrimmage. So hold it. Hold on. Stephen Moore came on the corner blitz, Keith. Wrapped up Gesser, ripped the ball loose, and pranced into the end zone. Now the flag thrown by the umpire. It'll be interesting to see if this is against Washington State for holding. Watch the play here by Moore. Gesser never saw him. It's against Oregon. Now the question is, did it come after the fact or what? May have been a dead ball foul, though, Pete. Might have been a dead ball. Right. A lot of discussion. Here we go. The touchdown's good. Yep. Touchdown is good. Dead ball foul, and it's against Oregon. With Jermaine Green to beat back behind Jason Gesser. A 7-7 ball game here in the second quarter. They pitch it back to Green. Green popping it out of there, breaking loose. One man. Couldn't do it. That one man held him up just long enough for help to come, and they finally drag him down at the 28-yard line. It was Keith Lewis. Cougars feel that with the speed of Green running the edges, they're going to force the Oregon quarterback to have trouble in pass defense, have trouble with run defense trying to make the tackle. Outside is number 13, Marcus Bins. He misses a tackle right there and is down the sidelines. Keith Lewis with the good angle allows Martin to make the tackle. This offensive line of the Cougs very mobile, getting out in front of a swift Jermaine Green. That's a 39-yard run. But here's a field goal try from Drew Dunning. It's 45 yards against the wind. And the wind is just fluffed up. Ball's in the air. It's good. Well, it looks like all the money is invested in the good one. Your money on the walk-off, walk-on walk walk yeah. program. <laughs> Almost the walk-off field goal here. Yeah. 45 yarder from Drew Dunning to give the Cougars a 10 to 7 lead. Whitesters <laughs> number 81 just shifting to the outside, leading the backfield. It gives them uh, four receivers. Quickly throw the ball to Willis, who shakes the first man. He got away, and he's to the goal line. Touchdown. Ducks stick it in there. He got away from Carl Fema. Fema had him out around the eight-yard line, and he just shook him off and took it in. And took it in for his first career touchdown for the Ducks. And when, when, didn't he know it? When he made the cut away from Fema and gets down towards the goal line, he stretched out. He's had over 88 receptions in his Duck career. Finally, one into the end zone. Keep in mind that none of the players on this Washington State team has ever beaten Oregon. 
Five will hold it, and Jared Siegel, sophomore out of Sacramento, will kick it, and it's good. And so the Oregon Ducks get a big play, and then back on a, a roughing the passer penalty, puts him in position, and Jason Willis pays it off, and it's 14-10 Oregon. And with Will with Fife did is he saw the man-to-man -man coverage, the blitz by the Cougars. He knew he had Willis singled on the outside, but you can't say enough about the effort by Jason Willis to make that man miss there and still be 10 yards from the goal line. Now he makes contact four yards from the goal line, spins back to the inside, stretches out, and scores his first career touchdown. Outstanding play for Jason Willis. He broke the plane before he lost the ball. <laughs> oh, the 70s. Yep, glad they're gone. Put it on the 39-yard line, it's very close to it, for a first down for Washington State. Gesser with a lot of time this time and gets it in the air for Darling. He's got it. Caught it in front of Stephen Moore at the five-yard line. Great play by DeVar Darling. And a good pass by Jason Gesser. Now that's what Jason does better than any quarterback in this conference. He puts the ball in areas where his receivers can make the play. DeVar Darling's got great speed. That was a beautiful move. And then the ball is thrown high. He can go up high over five foot nine. Stephen Moore to make the catch spectacularly. Not carry. He's still the single back. This is for Bush, the basketball player. Touchdown, Cougars. Six six against five eleven. Bush wins. Nothing you can do about it, just get jump ball and, and uh, he's got it in. Yeah, and he's got a quarterback that throws it perfectly high and soft. Bush can get down the field, he can turn back around to the quarterback, gather himself, and get up in the air, and there's no shot for Vince. The extra point is good. And so the Cougars go back to the lead at 4 minutes and 37 seconds to play in the first half. Game and go to the perimeter again. The one factor that has not surfaced today for the Washington State offense has been, oh my goodness, Gesser under pressure throws an interception to Kevin Mitchell, and he scores a touchdown. They were trying to set up a screen on the left-hand side. Gesser buried under the rush, threw the ball anyway, and Mitchell walks in for the TD. He was buried under the rush of Igor Olshansky, 6'6", 300-pounder. Gesser gets away with this last week against Arizona State when he tried to lob a couple of screen passes in there. But Kevin Mitchell, expecting it, reading the play, picks him off and goes into the end zone. It's a duck score twice today with their much maligned defense. Single now for the point. Snap was high, kick is good. 21 to 17, the Oregon Ducks have two gift touchdowns now for the defense. And they lead the ball game, and Mike Pavati couldn't be happier about the way things have turned. 53 is Olshansky right at the quarterback, forcing him to throw it early. Look at Mitchell, read the play, steps in front of Jermaine Green, and then steps all the way into the end zone. Look what I found. No kidding. <laughs> the, uh, that's been the difference in the score so far. I think the Cougars have been helping them a little bit, too. Fake it. Throw it down the middle. Pass caught by Mike Bush. And Lanky Mike has the first down at the 46-yard line for Washington State. He's playing with a cracked clavicle. 35-yard field goal try for Drew Dunning. He's hit a 45 today, and he's got a 35 today. Go to work. Smith has come in motion, come to the sidelines. Five little shovel pass ahead to Whitehead. Whitehead's got daylight in front of him. You better get him pretty soon, boys, or he'll be gone, gone. Eric Coleman finally tracked him down. Yeah, and now the Cougs have put a tight end on that side to give Harris some help on right. Gets his pass. He's got his man wide open. Mike Bush at the six-yard line. That was a good defense by Moretti to keep Bush out of the end zone. Fund. 
It's second down and goal. They gained the yard on the last play. Jump ball. First touchdown. Question now for Washington State. You go for two. Guess they're trying to get the offense back out onto the field. Marcus Boone says, I'll bring the kicker out here. I can't handle any more of this. Talk about a simple route. And Vince is just doesn't have a chance. Lead change. Why do you go for two? Well, it's pretty obvious. Add up the numbers. There's the pass. Run. No. Wave it off. Counted for just one touchdown. First down from the 20. Smith is the single back. Five looks to throw. Goes hard with it. Ball caught by the tight end Reister, George Reister, who's been fairly quiet. He's been in the vicinity of two catches today. One of them, <laughs> an amazing ricochet. Five throwing again. No heat on him. He passes. Well, oh, that's picked off. That's intercepted by Marcus Trufant. Intended for Keenan Howry, Trufant at six feet, Howry at 5'10". That time the quarterback won. Uh, he's going to win most of the time. 45 is Trufant. Second interception in as many games. Got one against Arizona State last week. His outstanding play as he reads the route and then goes high and wrestles the ball away from Howry. Fife had a lot of time to find a receiver, got a little greedy there, and should never have gone after Trufant two plays in a row. Had that feeling for years, yes. <laughs> Guess who will again with a lot of time. Puts it up for Charlie, and he's got it! Going for the ricochet touchdown! Great play by Darley. My goodness. For Marcus Benz. He did everything you possibly could do except knock the ball down. He knocked the ball up in the air. Darling didn't even break stride. He saw it in the air, gathered it in for six. Dunning to the point. Blocked it. Nada. That's the second time this year that he's blocked an extra point try. He blocked one against the UCLA Bruins, and it won the game for the Oregon Ducks. So it's 32-21 now, an 11-point lead. Jason Gesser's fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon, and uh, Oregon had a deflection earlier in the game with a reception by Reister. How about that awareness of where the ball is? entirely by DeVar Darling. Vince pops it up in the air. Darling never took his eyes off it. And now he can prance and celebrate. Marcus Vince with good coverage. He only has three. Five gets it away. And there's Reichster. He's on the chalk. No, they don't call him out. They got away and kept on pumping and went down to the 10 yard line. So last week it kept him a yard shy of the end zone. Try by Jared Siegel. He's had the 15, 16 in a row. 16 in a row and they wave it off? No, just missed it. It's been that kind of afternoon and especially that kind of second half for Mike Pilotti and the Oregon Ducks. It's face off against Washington in the Apple Cup here in Pullman. If they win that one, they're in the Rose Bowl. Or if they should lose to Washington, then they have a second breath against UCLA December 7th at the Rose Bowl in Long in Pasadena. But this game is in the book.